Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. And to start off, I'm afraid I've got some sort of bad news. Last episode, we built a couple of bird enclosures. The eagle and the hornbill enclosure. Uh, both of which are not big enough for them to despawn due to size. Uh, like area that they can move in. Uh, certainly not the hornbill one, uh, 20 blocks or 25 blocks or something like that is the space that they need to be able to, for a mob to despawn, uh, but they're gone. And so are all of the eagles, we don't have a single eagle, so, uh, as you can see from my inventory, I, I've got an anvil and I renamed these to just eagle and hornbill instead of spawn eagle and spawn hornbill, uh, and I put them in there, and I went over to the monkeys, and I came back to see if they're despawned, and poof, they've gone as well. And these are na they were named ones. Like, if I put these down, as you can see, they actually have a name. Uh, which is really annoying. And I don't know how to solve it. I will Google it, and I will see if there's, like, a command to force no mobs to ever despawn. I doubt there is such a thing. Uh, I'm sure that's sort of deep, hardwired into the game's code. What's in here? wild horse how convenient uh, because today we are going to be building a horse jumping arena now when i saw this i was, I was searching um some zoo stuff uh on google and i thought ah what about like a zoo map like a map of uh, of zoo uh, you know when you go to the zoo you usually get a pamphlet it's like a little cartoon picture of the zoo and it has like a picture of the zebra where the zebras are and, and stuff like that and about i, I looked at about five of them and three of them had a horse, horse jumping. And I thought horses aren't really zoo animals, but I'm more than happy to do it. I, I think it'd be really cool, a, a nice little touch. So we're off the sort of farmy side, or sort of somewhat farmy side of the zoo here with the goats and the turkeys and the deers and stuff like that. So I thought here would be perfect. It would sort of nicely join up to that area. It'll square off this corner uh, of the zoo pretty nicely. We can get a nice stable in here. Uh, and a nice sort of horse jumping arena here with some seat uh, seating maybe. So if we can imagine, let's clear our until we don't need any of this stuff now. Let's grab some stairs. Uh, for the seating, I'm going to use this one. Uh, for the walking, I'm going to use this one. So we'll have something like uh, seats somewhere here. Block. Uh, it'll be bigger than this, obviously, or longer than this seats etc 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 so we'll have like i don't know like four rows of seats back there the path comes through the middle here and we'll probably come along the front thinner uh along these seats here i don't want to go any wider than sort of that area, this area here uh so then we want the fences now for the horse jumping i have never ridden a horse i'm not I'm not scared of horses. In real life, this is no joke. In real life, I have two donkeys in my field. Uh, they're just pet donkeys. One was a, used to be many, many years ago, a beach donkey before I had him. You know, when you go to the beach, you might not have it in, in your country or wherever you're watching or whatever. But here in the UK, uh, sometimes, some beaches that you go to, uh, you can pay x amount of money uh to ride a donkey along the beach along the sand and sometimes they have little hats on and stuff like that anyway uh one of my donkeys he's a white he's a white donkey and he uh used to be one and then one day he was at the beach and someone said you know can i ride your donkey and the owner said yeah yeah, yeah sure not a problem and uh, my donkey di uh, and the donkey didn't move <laughs> he got on and he said nope I'm not doing this anymore, and obviously because, uh, sort of fair enough, really, in a way, uh, because the donkey wasn't um, doing what it needed to do, uh, it wasn't really of any use, unfortunately, to the owner, uh, which, although sounds really harsh and really mean, you know, if the, you know, you're only using the donkey to, you know, make money or whatever, at the end of the day, He's sort of there to make money. Do you know what I mean? That's, uh, the guy's job was to give donkey rides on the beach. And having a donkey that doesn't give rides to people 
isn't really much use. So, we got given the donkey. And, um, what, is that a good height? I remember we're going to have a horse, but we're going to be riding a horse through here. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we got this donkey. And, uh, very super friend, the friendliest donkey you could ever meet. And, uh, I did have another one. Uh, oh, there was a second one. Um, that I think we got with it, or we got shortly after it, so we had a friend. And, um, they're both... They were both old donkeys, and uh, the the second one that we got uh, unfortunately died. Not because of anything; it was just an old donkey. And uh, and and the white donkey, the original beach donkey, uh, got a little bit sad. He liked the he liked that donkey. He he, he liked having a friend, uh, so he got a little bit depressed. So we we got another donkey, which we still have today. It was a, it's a young one, and. Um, uh, they've been friends ever since. Like they, they all day, every day, they just chill out and uh, run around the field and uh, just have a real good time. And uh, really, really nice to see. Um, one's white and one's brown. The white one is very old now, uh, but the white one's probably about a year and a half old or a couple of years old or something like that. I can't really remember how old it is. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty funny, pretty funny. So I, going back to the how I originally got onto that before I got distracted by myself, I'm not scared of horses, but I have never ridden one. I, I suppose you can't be scared of horses if you're n if you've got donkeys. Do you, I mean they're they're pretty much the same animal, <laughs> as as close as that can be. Um, but uh, I'm not scared of them. I just don't. I've never ridden one. Uh, I've never really been interested in horses. In fact, uh, I've always, uh, you know, like like liked having a donkey and stuff like that. Uh, but the horses never horses have never really stood out to me at all. Um. So yeah, I mean, I got friends that have a lot of horses, and uh, and and do horsey stuff, cleaning them out and really boring stuff like that uh do i want the window on this level do i want a too high window oh i like a too high window um but yeah no i i don't personally uh have a horse oh if i extended that by one more block i could have another in i could have another one or i could have one bigger one at the end or i can have that area have chests and stuff in it No, I'm going to pull it over by one block. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to drag it back by one block. That's the same spot. <laughs> I do. Paste. There we go. There. And there. So, while I was jib-jabbering, uh, we've got a sort of square um, horse jumping uh, enclosure. And we've got the start to a barn. And I think I really like this design. What we've got is we've got these beams that are going to go across the top. I've only got one of them in at the moment. And then these are like little dividing walls between the horses. Uh, but I'm going to leave the sort of middle parts here uh, open so the horses can see each other. At the moment though, the horses can just walk over into the other enclosure. So we're going to get some sort of slab. I think it's a nice stone top will go well with the wooden here. And we'll put those on top of here. So now it's one and a half blocks tall and there's only one and a half block gap between it. So a horse physically can't get through uh, to each other. On the front here, I could either put fence, like I could either do fence and fence gate. Like that. Or we could have, oops, that. Or I could just put a door in. I sort of like having the fence gate, I think. And I think, I don't know, I think I just prefer having a fence there too. I think I prefer that. So we'll have these in. Uh, ooh, actually, can a horse get through this? Or does it count? Is a horse technically two blocks wide? Horse. I just need normal horse, yeah. I don't want modded wild horses or zombie horses or anything like that. Uh, saddle. 
that's the vanilla saddle um okay they're not tamed by default nope can you not tell how many hearts uh, a horse has just by sitting on it untamed I thought it showed you how many hearts it had right does doesn't it oh maybe only in survival mode yes is it gonna show me the hearts no not yet I just want to tame you just so I can see if you actually walk into it or not ha there we go nope no 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 there you go okay so can you get through there you cannot okay not a problem then uh, we need to change oops change this design a little bit maybe just three gates instead because then you can get through yeah in fact I think you could get through with just um, uh, just two two fence gates but three just makes sense yeah that's fine I'm cool with that oops so I'll have that one that one that one how many horses can we fit in here eight looks like eight to me I think that's a pretty good number oops I'll just die already. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> I I could have saved him, but why would I save him? He's a donkey. I don't need I don't need donkeys in here. Okay. Uh so there's the barn, got the barn roof to put on. That horse should that horse should stay there. Uh horse uh, this is a vanilla mob, a vanilla horse. Uh so it should follow vanilla despawn rules. So it shouldn't it shouldn't just disappear uh, like those birds did last episode. We should just be able to, to keep the horses in there. Uh, so we have a path come here and a path go along. Uh, and then we want an, a spot for the horses to get in here. This could probably stay open, to be honest. There's no reason to have uh, a closed off area here. Not unless you want to have some horses out here permanently. It's like show. I like that. I like the look of that. Might put some um Might put some ribbons, some coloured ribbons or something like that. Okay, for the show jumping itself, this is actually gonna be really fun to make because there's a lot that we can actually do here. We can get cobblestone walls. We're gonna have to have a go at this at the end as well. We're gonna have to have a go at the show jumping. Let's do a nice simple track that goes up the left side down the middle and then up the right so like a snake like an s shape most horse races and tracks are like all wiggly and, and turny and stuff like that i don't think i'm good enough to <laughs> to do that so what we're gonna do is instead uh can i i think cobblestone wall would be a pretty high one let's start off with how wide do we need these to be like what would be that's like four blocks between. That sounds like a pretty good width, really, for a horse jump. So first one, we have to jump over a cobblestone wall. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put those on top. Second one, uh, we can do quartz. I might use pillar quartz. I think that looks pretty neat. We can have a taller one. I don't think it needs to be that tall. Uh, oh, did I do that other one in line? Nope there and there uh slabs we can have i don't know let's use a, a, a yellowish like one we'll have that up here i think these two are technically the same height because the walls are one and a half blocks but i think it looks cool that they're sort of different uh colors and stuff like that slabs i've got like a dark block cobblestone that'd be great it's dark enough okay uh for the next one we can use um in fact for the next one We'll use sandstone. Oh, we've already got sandstone. Sandstone, but check this out. We're going to do that one and this one. Uh, no. Slab. I'll use white on the top of this one. 
They're always, they're always a little bit different. And then clay, white, and red. A double one that you got to try and get through. In fact, I could put water in the middle. <laughs> That's a sneaky one, right? A little, a, a double jump there. Come around the edge, come down the middle. Let's not have them in line with each other. So we'll do just two uh, down the middle here in the middle of the the three there. Uh, and we want a hedge one, leaf one. There's plenty of different types that we can do. So this one's going to be two blocks tall. The highest one yet. Okay, like that. Oh, is this the right width as well? Uh, f it should be four, but six in total. Yeah, like that. So you've got to jump over there. Um, I don't want a water one yet. I, t I tell you what I want. We'll go over here. And I'm going to put another one in here. I'm going to do like a... What other block can we use to stack with? I could use wool. Brick, no. Chisel stone brick. Yeah. Uh, oops. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's, that's right in the middle. Uh, I want to have this one with slab. We'll use quartz slabs for the middle part. And I want like a big water jump for this one. In fact, I think... I think you always end up in the water. Uh, I think the horses always go in the water on this one. Like you jump through into the water. Uh, water. I can't wait to have a go at this. I really, really want to have a go at this. I want to see. Maybe we can set up. So, is there any point actually setting up like a timer to, to to see how fast you are? Probably not. So you have that one with the water jump. Um, I've got a horse jumping arena in front of me. They're all pretty much the same. A uh, fence one. Fence one's perfect. We'll use nether brick so it's different against the um, other fences in the area. And maybe I could do something above it. Like a carpet above it. So it's just a nice simple one. Nice, sim nice low, simple, easy one to finish off that section. Um... Then we should probably have a, uh, a really high one before the finish in the middle here. Oh, well, we've got the water one. Now we'll do it here. Uh, again, I think we'll go with another quartz one here. Uh, maybe a chiseled quartz instead. Keep it in line. Um, no, I'm going to have a nice big run up and we're going to have the last one here. And the last one is going to be a taller one. Uh, so it's going to be... Like that, and it's going to be maybe two and a half blocks high. Slab. Oops. Slab. Two and a half blocks high. That's pretty tall. In fact, we could do it like that. I think that's pretty good idea. And then you can't just run underneath it. That would suck, wouldn't it? Well, how about like that? Okay, that. I think it looks pretty cool, right? Oh, and then we'll do like a finish. Uh, wool. Black wool and white wool. I want to have like... Like that. And like... Oops. Like that. Um, maybe some sort of... Edging like that. So you run into there and you win. That looks pretty. That, that that feels pretty good. Now, the other thing that these um, horse jumping arenas have is you want to sort of make sure that they can't go the wrong way, uh, and they always have a lot of flowers, a lot of foliage. So we can do that by what is our, what is our wall type? We have sandstone with the slab on top. Okay, I like that. So we want the sandstone. And I might get another type of sandstone. Like, I think that one for the edging. With the slab on top. And hopefully, I've got like three blocks in the middle. I've got four. And on here I've got three. Okay. 
Okay, I shall make that one block wider and I shall make oops this one block wider. And then that one, that one, that that one. And then have this coming back here. I want to go one block wider than the last one. I have those on the corners just to dress it up a little bit. And just put the block on top of there. And this comes down this way. And then we can put some double high rose bushes. You know, the double high lilacs. Those kind of blocks. Uh, or those kind of flowers. Because uh, they should just poke out of the top of these. Just. Which will look really nice. Okay. Uh, and then in the ground... Uh, we it's not going to be perfect grass uh, on the running part of the track we're going to want to have some sort of um, pods or maybe mixed in but we want tall ones in here uh, we want where are they where's the tall ones there we go large ferns rose bushes peonies lilacs double tall grass maybe some sunflowers I mean why not Aloe vera plant. What on earth is an aloe vera plant? Bone meal. Got to see what it is, don't we? No? Okay. We will never know. I will never know what that is. I, I, I know of aloe vera in real life. But I certainly don't know what the plant looks like. Uh, a couple of big ones in here. They've got some re These are really nice textures. Red ones. And then the ferns in all of the gaps. This fern is still my favourite block ever. Okay. Yeah, that looks really nice and neat, doesn't it? It just divides that up. Uh, I could probably just grab the whole lot and just copy and paste it over there. In fact, we shall copy it. Rotate it by 180 degrees and then paste it on that side and then the flowers look a little bit different uh, Because obviously they're facing the other way then Yeah, right here So it doesn't look some it, it they don't look like the same thing copied and pasted They're rotated around so the plants are in the opposite direction That that looks pretty cool. I'm actually really happy with that. Oh the barn roof of course, um, I'll have to do that off camera because we haven't got enough time to do this on camera. It's a really simple roof though. Um, I think we'll use dark oak for it. I'm going to get slabs, stairs and the full block variety because it's a little bit of a strange roof. Uh, I shall do one layer with you so you can then do it for yourself if you are building along at home. We're going to start off with full blocks. And here. And I'm going to put stairs on top. I don't think we need the slabs. There you go. Something like that. And that'll go all the way down. Uh, and one block over the edge, obviously. Uh, all the way down the entire building. Nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. Uh, so I should do that and I should be back. Alright. I am back. And I had to do a little bit on the inside of the... Uh, oops. Wrong one. Uh, on the inside of the stable. I should show you it in a minute. I need a uh, fence. You can sort of see it from through there. And I need trap doors. I've do oops, I've done the other side. I didn't realise how close we were to uh, to running out of time, so I just had to put down some really basic stuff quickly. Trap doors on here. I actually really like this stable. I'll, I'll actually, if we do a stable in the city, uh, like a horse stable in the city somewhere, um, I will probably do a very similar design to this because I think it looks beautiful from the outside, right? And on the inside, I add some logs that now connect to the ceiling instead of them just going across. I made the floor cobblestone because I think it just looked nice. Added a hay block and a little water trough in each one. And the hay blocks all face different directions just so it looks a little bit more natural. And I think it looks really nice in here. We've got the lamps up here uh, and the lamp in each one of the um, uh, stable areas. I think it's pretty good. All I've got to do now is sort of go from he here to there replace grass with two three and grass uh oh whatever i done 
I don't think I wanted to do. <laughs> because I that's more than nine blocks. Is it three, two? It is, yeah. Replace grass with three, two, and grass. Oh, that's two, three. Whoops. Ah, undo then. Three, two, and grass. The reason why I'm not doing it, like, why I'm replacing grass with grass, technically, is so we get this nice randomized sort of pan in here. If we just um, make it all pods, it'll look a little bit too blocky. But doing it this way will hopefully make it look a little bit more nice. Hopefully. Uh, that one to that one. That one to that one. The nice thing about this is that it's completely random, so you can't accidentally... You do tend to, at least I tend to, when I'm trying to do something randomly, you can end up making a pattern, and it's really hard not to, because it's just... Oops. Your brain is, like, hardwired to make patterns in Minecraft and try and make things neat, and you just don't want that when it comes to, like, floors and that kind of thing. There we go. Oh, that's a nice finishing touch. So, let's jump on the horse. I have no idea how good of a jumper this horse is. If he can if he can do it or not. Well, he can jump over the gate. How? What's the highest one? One and a half. Uh, two and a half, isn't it? Oops. Uh, ooh, I can't do that on here. Slab. The highest one was two and a half, right? So, if he can jump up there. I don't know if he did then or if I just sort of skimmed the edge. Okay, he can do it. He can definitely do it. So, hup. oh, that was a terrible jump. Maybe we do need a slightly better horse to do this. Over the both of them. Yeah, he did it. He did it. Okay. Oh, that was a little bit early. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad jump. Over the next one. Okay, this is the one with the water that we splash into. That wasn't a bad timing jump. And the hard one. He's over. He done it. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to try that one more time. See if we can get a little bit faster. I got a little bit stuck on some sections. Okay. Go. That was better. That was good. Oh, that was good. That was smooth. You can't get much faster than that. Good. That was the last one we got stuck on. That was very smooth. Get a nice wide angle. That wasn't bad. And that's a tough one. There we go. That that was pretty quick. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. If you guys enjoyed the episode, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye.